Hi guys, we're back with how to get your dog to do a flying return to heel. Everybody's like, we don't want that. All right, but I'm making this for you, Mike. And Mike's like, oh God, no. Um, but you got to tighten up your body English. <laughs> Mike's like, God help me. It's true though. It's true. Everybody does. And you're not thinking of it that way. I think the handler has to think of themselves as... at least giving the appearance of being somewhat athletic to the dog. Not that you're not athletic, Mike. I'm, I'm not saying that, but you've got to hold your body in a way only because the way dogs do it, they just like that dog right now, I can see that it's poised, ready to go get the squirrels at, at any second. If you said, what's it going to take? Well, the squirrel to start to stumble or fall out of the tree like they do every two seconds. So, You've got to have that body language too, where you're saying, and this is where you were going wrong. You were doing it with the top part of your body, but not the bottom. And I think what you have to do, you have to put your feet together. Now you say, I'm doing this bottom part of my, and the way I like, what a move I like to do with them is that foot's gonna stay planted. That foot's gonna move back to give the impression of, if you need to make up a, like the gymnast, that's what it is. It's really like a gymnast because, you know, they, like they get a point off if they hop on the landing, but they'd rather do that than just completely eat it. So, and not that I'm an expert with this. I just started doing this since I got the climb, but I think you could do it. I think that if you wanted it, you could do it with the climb and then get it without the climb. There, there's no reason that you wouldn't be able to. Well, honestly, I honestly have no idea why he's just sitting there. For some reason, all these collars are dead. If I had to guess, I haven't plugged in and that thing isn't on again. I'm not telling him to sit there. He's just doing it on his own. All right, so I've got my pager. And again, if you're going to be doing a bunch of tight in close work, if you said, where are you not doing the Nick? The, the majority of the time, not right by the handler. The lion's share of his way driving it towards the handler. If you're using that to drive the dog towards the handler, theoretically, if the dog understands what you want, it, you're not going to be doing all this close-up nick. So, equipment neutral dog doesn't have any reaction to getting collar on. Um, So the way I'm doing it, my precursor is I'm getting those feet together. If I have to move, it might be like that, but I'm gonna keep that foot planted or rotate. I think you need, they were making them stand on their toes last night. I think you need to do that too. Oh, that was awful.
because half his mind is on the schools. Uh, yeah, I know. I know that. More like three quarters. So now he kind of sees me tightening up right there. I have to brace myself for him, though. So I'm going to look. <laughs> if you said, I see why you tighten up your core, lady. But he can see, I mean, he can see that middle part. You know, and I mean, I don't think you're losing anything as far as like making the dog return. All right, are you getting all this, Mike? I do think you have to think of it like gymnastics. And it's almost, I think if you put rubber bands on people's arms and legs to make them hold their body tighter, they might. You could put like an elastic, so if you had to move your foot, it would be kind of... So I'm right there, I'm all, I'm all tightened up though, because I have to be with this one. I... I think you have to make sure they don't... That foot's planted. I may move from there. But that foot's planted. All right, are you getting all that? <laughs> and I think you should do it in front of the mirror. And if you said, well, how do you know all this? My sister was in gymnastics. <laughs> the, the, the solutions I have for every, you know, thing I know. Uh, she was actually really good, though, and she actually went to Arizona State on a cheerleading scholarship. I'm sure my parents have old movies. I'm sure maybe my sister has them. I'll tell her to send them. Uh, oh, yeah, she could do backflips all, uh, I can't even remember all the things that she could do, but, so that's, you know, you've got your training with your whole body, and I do think you have to have some, all right, now, if you said, well, okay, now, how can you do it without the platform? I can try it without the platform. Fetty. <laughs> so there you go but if you said well you couldn't have got that without the platform I would say oh for sure for sure if you said nobody wants that I'd say Mike wants it <laughs> but it would I mean it would make sense that that's how you would get a obviously a bigger return to heel um, just from on the ground, because honestly, even if he's on the platform, by the time he gets to me, he's having to get air again. But if you said, well, the platform's giving him the idea about the air, I would say, oh, for sure, for sure. Oh, Shelly wants it too. Okay, good. Now, you'd be amazed. I'm going to go back and find the very first dog was Piper that I can remember that it would start flipping in the air. I, rem I remember noticing that you could get him to flip with the pager. So that dog's about 10 years old now, but uh, you do want that because it, jumping is joy for dogs. If you said what, you know, you know, they ought to have like some saying or something like the dog was jumping for joy. Oh no, they already have that. <laughs> but I mean, I think if you said, well, I'm training it for a dog show, I want that. Well, they don't have that kind of return to heel in a dog show. <laughs> If you said, what is that return to heel? It is a retriever return to heel. And it really, honestly, for companion dogs, sit. It's going to have more practical application. I don't believe in making them sit in front of you. Because that's an exercise designed for dog shows. That's for dog shows. So if you're not going, and most people, if you say to them, are you planning on taking it any dog shows? Their answer is no. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> but I think, you know, it would be, I don't know, maybe I should even be on a little platform. But he sees all the precursors. I'm lining my feet up. You know, if you said, well, you have to be like a superhero. You're getting your thing and you're just. <laughs> That's how I want you to think of it, Mike. And you're honestly, even you're holding, if you're me, you're holding your core tight right now. So I'm going to glance. Oh, yeah, he's hitting me, though. Yeah, then I'll end up, you know, it'll end up, uh, 
you know, people will be getting all these injuries from my method. <laughs> And I'll just never be heard from again. Her method was just dangerous. They were jumping and jumping at the people. It was absolutely awful. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, we're at a point now. It's not 1963. It's not even 1993. There, if you go back and look at Mike Lardy's obedience, it's, it's awful. It's awful. Uh, because they're not, they're really not. Their obedience was only functional, pivot right, pivot left, come to the handler, and remote sit. Everything else was, you know, great big distance. And that's the reality of it. Everything else is great big distance. So if you can get nice, tight, finessey work, close, and a great big distance, well, you might be doing something good. You know, you, you might be doing something right as far as... You know, if you said, well, I'll do a survey and find out what the biggest concern of prob uh, dog owner, pet owners is. Oh, then it runs away! <laughs> All right, we'll do it one more time. Mike wants to see it one more time. And I think it's probably a good idea. I could do it from right here. He's, he's, he's real hair triggery, though. That's what I just getting ready to say. He's real hair triggery right here. And if you said, well, how can you fix it? I can just go over there. He's not his hair triggery, but I still want him to see. Sit. Sit. He's too hair triggery. He's too hair triggery. See, I was, I was too far from the platform. I either need to be right close, but he's very hair triggery. <laughs> if you said, where was his face? Oh, we need a screenshot of that one, Mike. His face was right here. His face was right by my face. You know, that's why you don't want to play tug and all this shit, you know? I mean, this dog trusts me. And if you said, it loves you, I don't know about love, but it trusts me beyond anything, that I don't act hinky, and I'm always, I don't lie, I don't lie, you know, and I mean, that's, that's who I am to people, too, you know, and you have to be that way to the dog, if you're going to be the kind of handler that's going to throw food, if you think I'm going to throw food on the ground, and then yank this dog when it tries to get it, that's going to make me a very weird acting handler, if you said, why, I don't ever throw food on the ground, no one does, if you said people feeding birds, well, them. <laughs> them, but you know, the anything, you know, I'm not going to do any, there, I want you, there's some things a dog doesn't understand what we're doing that don't really affect it. We have to put certain things in that category. And then the things when we're speaking directly to that dog, you know, that's, I'm not going to do weird things. I'm not going to tell him to say it and then make weird jerky movements like that guy, Nick. I mean, that's the most disturbing training I've ever seen. Oh, I can get him sitting from here. I'll do it one more time. Sit. So I'm getting ready, Mike. That's what you have to think of. I'm getting the suit on. Up to there. There. Yay. Sure, I got a gut punch, but he landed perfectly. <laughs> You know, but he's also understanding, you know, jumping is fine here. Jumping is fun. And I need to work on just his send away for about a week. And I'll show you how to do that real quick, too. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Because I can get him to come back better than I can go away. But jumping is joy. I'm just going to honestly make the first ebook. Uh, Chelsea's working on it right now, Shelly. Uh, just getting the recall. Once you've got that, then you can move on. Uh, not you, just anybody. Because if, if they try to skip that at all, and that's what all these charlatan trainers do with the e-collar. They don't do the recall at all. If you skip that, it's gonna fail. And if you said, how do you, I know that <laughs> experience, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I learned it the hard way. I don't even remember now, but 
I'm sure it was something along those lines. So if you said, how did you tell him to sit? I folded my arms. But again, I can do all of it without words. All of it. If you want to speed your platform up, that's what you do. Boom. And, you know, with this dog especially, if I act like I'm racing over there, that's how I'm going to get him over there. That's how you get them going to the platform. Uh, if you're getting any not going casting right off the hand, then do that for a week, which is what I'm going to do with this dog. If you're getting any hesitation on your casting, do that and do it like that where you're getting gone. You're getting gone and you're not, you know, honestly, I'm understanding now you've got to strip it down. By the time you've said, Yes, or whatever. It's it's too late. It's too late. Things have to, if things are happening in tenths of a second. If you said, "What have I got time to do?" You know, give them the food and imply. And then if you said, "Well, what if you don't have the food?" Right, you can still imply. You can still imply. You know, the only thing I don't do that here and there. I do. You know, but again, on the other hand, we're not going to sit there and be entitled to have animals performing for us for nothing. They don't do that. All right, let me do it one more time. So this way you day, I got, I, I'm doing the page or two. Teddy. So now I'm just working on this. If you gotta run, run. You said how many times you should do that? I don't know, 40, 50. 40, 50. 40, 50 times. You don't let, you're not gonna, you know. It, uh, if you did that 40 or 50 times, it's, that's what it's going to do on the 41st or 51st time. So that's what you guys are thinking. Anyway, all right, well, I'll be right back. I hope that helped, Mike. But that's what I want you to think of. You're, they're saying to themselves, it's almost like that thing, Predator. Did you ever see that movie? I'm sure you did, Mike. I, this is what I need to use. I need to have, like, the guy movies. But that thing would kind of start turning, you know. So if you said, okay, well, be, do, do relax body language now, put your suit on. You see? Just doing that, he can't, he can't not, you know, and then the hand, you know about the hands, but, you know, you want the hand, the hands should be speaking too. You know, even this, this, I think you need to have some foot plant. It, it's, 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 one foot is staying there, that's what they're saying, that's just, you know. His foot is staying there, it can go there, it can go there. Not like people used to make him do, oh, that one guy does it. He puts his foot on the leash and then he pretends like he's going and then starts correcting the dog. Don't do that. Don't do that. That would be if you had the dog beside you. Hang on. If you had the dog, if I had the dog beside me, You get the idea, you know, that he, that they'll go, if you said you, you could get them going step by step by step. I did that Great Dane. If you said, why, well, I had the same length of legs as me. <laughs> so we could go step by step by step. We had the same stride. It was crazy. All right, girl, keep working on that. But you need to really fortify your recall because if you said, I haven't had any recall failures. You've had several. You've got to keep working on that and... Try not to be disappointed. I, you know, I've learned not to be disappointed because every failure you have to take as an observation, not a current, you know, you have to just take it for an observation and understand that whatever you did failed. Shelly's like, ah, ah. All right, you guys be right back.